Hello, it's Llewellyn Morgan uh, here, and I'm um, delighted uh, to be back uh, offering another daily dose uh, for um, the Acts of Dionysus. Now, what I'm going to read uh, this evening is not um, a Virgil and it's not Homer, but it's kind of like a Victorian encapsulation of both of them. Um, it's uh, from Sarah and Rustam by Matthew Arnold, and at this point, the Persian hero Rustam is slowly realizing very slowly realising that the warrior that he's uh, been fighting with is his own son, Sohar. And so he deemed that either Sohar took, by a false boast, the style of Rustam's son, or that men gave it him to swell his fame. So deemed he, yet he listened, plunged in thought and his soul set to grief, as the vast tide of the bright rocking ocean sets to shore at the full moon. Tears gathered in his eyes, for he remembered his own early youth and all its bounding rapture, as at dawn the shepherd from his mountain lodge descries a far bright city smitten by the sun through many rolling clouds. So Rustam saw his youth, saw Sohrab's mother in her bloom, and that old king, her father, who loved well his wandering guest and gave him his fair child with joy. And all the pleasant life they led, they three, in that long distant summer time, the castle and the dewy woods and hunt and hound and mourn on those delightful hills in Azerbaijan. 